Hey guys, I'm Zed. And it's Z. So, pre-release time. Uh, I got the Maestros. Yep, I got Cabaretti this time. So, I actually did not know that these were colored theme and stuff until I was picking it literally up. I kind of got told that a little bit. Uh, like, I pretty much pre-ordered it kind of ahead of time, but I was told, yeah, by the way, it's this. Which one did you want? I'm like, oh, um, the one that gives me cards. <laughs> um, I was going to try to stick with one of the red-green ones, whether this was this one or it was the uh, Racketeers, so. Uh, Ray Gardner just grabbed one and handed it to me because that's what I told him to do. I, I mean, I may have gone for the Riveteers or yeah that was the other one I was looking at as well yeah but the Maestros which is the Maestros are old money vampires who love their finer things in life and reading from uh, this little thing came from the booster box the set that's a set booster box so you're good and if you haven't checked that out check that video out it'll be on the channel here either before this or at some point around this. So either way, it'll be coming out soon yeah. or already. If it's already out, it's up here. If it's not, it will be out soon, hopefully. Hit the bell, <laughs> notification, sub, like, comment, subscribe. If you just want to sit down and laugh for so long, go ahead. Because I make people laugh all day. So we are going to open these up separately. And have a quick game, because that's always fun to see what jank we can make. And we'll kind of break down the decks as we kind of build them. Or once we have the decks built, basically, yeah. we'll break them down and explain what we're doing and how we're getting there. And this is separately, so when we are actually sitting down at the table to play, I won't know what he has and he won't know what I have. No, basically the way we're going to do this is the other person gets locked out and then... Uh, you know, it's build, record, play, go. Well, he's going to get locked out. While he's doing his, I'm going to go sit in my room and put a heating pad on my neck. I think I kinked it last night. Listen, what you do in your free time? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... My bed is messed up. Anyways. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Fail compilation. Fail compilation. Fail. See you guys in a minute. Hey guys, it's Z coming back at you with my deck tech here for the pre-release sealed kit. And so we kind of stuck with the cabaretti here. Um, so we're playing a pretty aggressive deck here, all things considered. We did pull four hold for ransoms, which I think is going to be real fun. Um, especially with all the shield counters going around. I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to make it to where he, uh, you know, he won't be able to do anything. So our curve looks like a Cabaretti Initiate, Gold Hound. So two really low to the ground aggressive creatures. Then we have Illuminator Virtuoso, Double Striker. Civil Servant, can become bigger. Park Heights Pegasus, kind of go in the air and trample. Sky Crier, again evasive, try to get in the air and get him. Gala Greeters, so rewards us for playing multiple creatures a turn. Civic Gardener to untap lands or creatures. Uh, Jewel Thief to kind of come into play, give us a treasure that we can use later for other things. Two Brazen Upstarts, which will help us find more creatures when it dies. Witty Roastmaster, when a creature ATBs will burn him for another one point of damage. Inspiring Overseer to help gain us some life from the cover. Uh, Fleetfoot Dancer here for Trample Life Leak and Haste on a 4-4 body, so it's just a really aggressive bomb beater. Darling of the Masses to help kind of go wide and get us there. Celebrity Fencer to reward us for going wide and getting bigger itself. Two Rackish Revelers to attach to our lands and help us filter our mana, or their 5 3 creatures that give us another body. As for our non creature spells, we have Four Hold for Ransom, a Sticky Fingers to kind of help us produce some treasure slash give menace, and then a Take to the Streets to help our guys go wide and get there at the end. It's meant to be our big bomb finisher. Um, in our land slot, the only special lands we're running is going to be thing, two botanical plazas, a cabaretti courtyard, and two riveters overlooked to help us find our mountains and forests. Notably, the other cards that we kind of got in our rare slot that we didn't include include a Vivian on the hunt, Toulouse Clever Conductor, 
a cut your losses, which would have been really nasty had Zed actually pulled that, so I'm glad we got it instead of him. Hostile Takeover, and a Xander's Lounge. So we got a Triome, but it's in the wrong color, sadly. Um, but with that, let's see kind of where uh, Zed goes, and we'll see how it does in the game. All right, guys. I'm going to quickly open this. Uh, then I'm going to open the packs separately and make the deck, and then tell you what I, how I built it. Um, just because I'm a slow deck builder. Ooh, see what we got in here. Cause I always like showing you guys what. You want to play Zarina? This code. I like the little box. All right. Token. Ooh. Cool. Let's open this up, and then I'll open up these uh, draft packs. Hopefully the draft packs will actually give us some really good stuff. Okay. Ooh, Waterfall. Now I'm assuming these are kind of made to um, help you build. Quick draw dagger. Z said I would get one of these. Okay. Okay. So, why well, I got five here. Let me open these up, look at what I got, and decide what, what I'm going to do. So, I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys. All right. Um, oops, I didn't realize that. I didn't really like I pulled anything. I wanted to keep this, the blue, black, red theme. I got some really cool cards for the other ones. Nothing I really was looking for. I, I, did, I didn't pull anything that great. Nothing from my list. Um, so what I did instead, looked at the cards and I chose cards with the lowest mana value. This is a jank get. I know this. I would not play this normally. Just because there's no contagion. Um, but hopefully, because it's so low mana, I can get stuff out fast and I can do something. We did get the quick draw daggers. We got, um, oh. Some of these, like we got the Midnight Assassin, choose to, uh, yeah, I gotta add 15 lands to this, I gotta figure out the mana uh, ratios, but I don't know guys, I'm not good at building decks, but I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping it's at least fun. So I'm gonna go get Z. We're gonna set up for the, the uh, game. Let's hope I win. All right, guys. Here's the duel or battle. You got seven to beat on my end. I got six. So I'll go first. Fits my uh. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you this. There wasn't even any cards that I was really like wanting to show the audience. Yeah, sometimes it goes like that. Sometimes you just get pure juice out of it. So, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I wanna play. Thank you. Um, I'll keep mine. Yeah, I just, I wasn't gonna be able to stick with a one lander right now. No, I'll, I'll stick with mine. And yes, as always, we cut and shuffled before. Pretty much just always assume we've cut and shuffled. Because you guys don't want to sit there and watch people shuffle decks. 
Or could that be a whole entire YouTube channel? Just dedicated to shuffling decks. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Lands, come on. You do math. Yeah. It hasn't stopped clumps from occurring. No. Well, I think I heard on... Uh, the professor said... Usually you gotta do like 11 shuffles to get a good randomized... Well, the big issue was that, like, I kind of half shuffled it before we got sleeves on the decks. Yeah. And then, you know, we sleeved it up, so there was a lot of clumps kind of naturally built. And then, um, so I could have just re-clumped it as part of that process. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That or it could just be bad beats. Wait, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are you doing? I hit five. Said. <laughs> okay, this is at least five. I had five. <laughs> Cause see, those are the five I so had. So I'm just gonna ask: Are we wanting to do friendly mulligans or what? Yeah, just what? Sure. Okay. And we're we're not trying to be official here. We're just having fun. Okay, that actually. Helped me a little bit. Turn one, cabaretti initiate, go. Mountain, go. And guys, sorry if uh, my cards are not in civil servant. View. Go to combat, one you. No, go ow. ahead and go. Be Wait. aggressive, be, be aggressive. Why are you hurting me? Uh. Re. Riveters initiate? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Cabaret Courtyard. I'm gonna go ahead, sacrifice it, and I'm gonna go find myself. A forest. So, guys, uh, go down below and say who uh, you think is going to win, as always. Give us the timestamp when you picked it. That way you can see how early on in the game you made that decision. Um, I, at this point, do not know who is going to win because... Kind of, I'm really curious what you built. Going into combat. Okay. Civil servant. Attack trigger. I'm going to go ahead and tap down my citizen. It's going to get plus one, plus oh, and lifelink. So it is a three, three, three lifelinker. Th three, four, right? Three, three. It's just plus one, plus oh. Oh, then I will take three. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three. Technically, I would have gained a life for this, so I'm technically at 24 right now. Go. Alrighty then. What do I want to do? Die gloriously for your emperor. Uh, my emperor says no, and that you should die for my emperor. Nah. I am going to go to combat. Yep. Anything? No no response or attack. Okay, I am going to declare this yep. as my attacker. Declare no blocks. Okay. Target creature gets plus four plus three until the end of turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen. Go ahead. I like it's that concern by the way. And yes, guys, I am trying to learn, you know, phases and stuff still. Fleetfoot Dancer. Ooh, nice. 
trample lifelink and haste. Going into combat. Civil Servant and Fleet Foot Dancer declared attacks. Attacks. I'm going to go ahead and give it plus one, plus oh, and lifelink. So it's a total of seven lifelinking coming at you. Okay, I literally cannot do something. So I will be down to nine. And I will gain seven. I'm 25. It'll be your turn. This, um, this is a no. Why are you being mean? What do you mean being mean? It's my channel. I'm supposed to win. Once I'm, in a while. I'm just doing the thing my deck wants to do. I'm sorry, Zed. Um. All right, I'm going to give you a choice. Okay. I'm going to play this. This and this. It's my choice on what I sacrifice. Yep. By civil servant. Okay. I will go to combat. Yep. I will declare my attack. Yep. No blocks, so take two. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Land for turn. Take to the streets. Okay. Uh, Creatures I control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Citizens I control, such as my Cabaretti Initiate, gain an additional plus one, plus one, and Ooh. gain Vigilance until the end of turn. Nice. So this guy is getting plus three, plus three in Vigilance. This guy is getting plus two, plus two. So six. And then this will be four. Four. And doesn't tap. Yeah. Okay. Going into combat. Okay. Initiate. Dancer. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. I'm going to pay to flash this in. Okay. And I'm going to block this. Because this has lifelink, right? No. It's got vigilance. This has lifelink. Yes, this is also a trampler. Right. So block this. Okay, block that. And then I'll take six. Yes. So I will be down to three, and you will gain six, and this will go to the graveyard. All right, my turn. Yep. Uh. One, two, Midnight Assassin, Flying, and Death Touch. Okay. But it has no face. Yep. Going into combat, I will attack for two. Go ahead. for ransom uh, enchanted creature enchanted creature can attack or block and has seven hold ransom counter pay seven for hold for ransom counter sacrifice and drop it. is it good yeah going into combat team Good game, game one. Good game one. Hey, I think I used my flash guy pretty good. Yeah, you did. You chump blocked me. Was it as good as that Wabaku? <laughs> You're just so happy about that Wabaku. Hey, man. You gotta be happy when a card plays your way once. But then again, it's not like it actually 
It just prevented my death. Yeah, it saved you for a singular turn. You guys haven't been uh, watching our ma Master Duel stuff. That's actually been pretty fun, I, I have to say. Yeah. It's, um, I, I wish I had more cards available to me. Yeah. That's a personal kind of gripe. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the big thing there. Well, I'm also pretty sure you wish you had a little bit more time to dedicate. Because I've been able to play some rank duels and get stuff. I haven't even touched rank duels. I just don't have time, really, to be able to play it except the film. Yeah. Like, I kind of... That's why I kind of did the huge big thing about just going ahead, trying to film pack openings and stuff. It's just because I didn't have a lot of time, but the time I did have, I wanted to make sure. Yeah. I was putting stuff out for, you know, the viewers, y'all. So. Which, guys... Uh... Jeez. Uh... Those... Should be coming out... Yeah, no, I'm going to mulligan. Uh, Mostly should be out by the time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because April was our month of Yu-Gi-Oh. We said... Uh, I kind of actually forgot about the pack openings. <laughs> yeah. So Zed may bundle them together or he may leave them as small little micro videos. Honestly, he'll probably bundle them. Yeah. But though, guys, we did have we did get a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content out this one, and that was kind of the goal. Is we kind of want to start doing more theme months to try to give a little bit of something for everybody, and kind of make everyone feel like they're getting something out of it. And also, in between the theme of the month, getting some other content out. Yeah, still keeping on a routine of getting stuff we want to get out, such as like a magic release or whatever. Yeah. But at the same time, covering the core events for doing themes and making it feel right. We like uh, magic. Magic's fun. Better. Much better. Oh, see? I actually did lie to you. Huh. I have one mythic in my deck, not a rare. Oh, okay. The, the coloring is... Okay, no ...bothered problem. me a little bit. Okay. Would you like to go first or second, Zed? First. Go. Mountain, Gold Hound, go. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Um. Go ahead. I probably should have mulliganed this. <coughs> Cabaretti Courtyard. Pitch. Go find myself a planes. Put it on the battlefield. Tapped and gain a life. You know, we didn't mention this during the uh, pack openings or anything, but these are actually pretty cool. I really like them. Um, honestly, I like all the lands they've done in this set, all the yeah. variation special lands. Between the common, you know, uh, dual lands, between these go search lands, which are very reminiscent of the old panorama cards. And I like that those are commons. Yeah, I wish we would have gotten these in other sets for, you know, the other three color sets but yeah that that is true because that just feels like a missed opportunity but it is what it is um moving into combat gold hound yeah go ahead and go land nope nope uh just go ahead mm -hmm. Like you said, I probably should have mulligan, but I thought I could play it. Which is uh, the issue sometimes.
Uh, Riveter's Outlook. I'm going to go ahead and go find a forest. <laughs> yeah, um, I... As you guys saw in my my opening, I didn't show you much because I didn't I didn't feel that there was enough to show you guys. And again, I may be mistaken, and Z is going to show me after this what cards I should have been looking at. Yeah, and I kind of put these like land filters in that basically were going to find me two at least if it found me at least two colors. I tried to run. A reasonable amount of them to help me fix my mana quickly. And as I told Z, I actually forgot to put those in my deck. Uh, going into combat, Gold Hound. Go ahead and go. Really? Really? Oh my god. Go, I will, um, because I need to. I will discard, light them up. Ooh, that's not fun. Yeah. White. Yeah, there's. I'll play Celebrity Fencer. Okay, we got a celebrity here, people. That is a fencer. Going into combat. One ya. You just going to ping me to death? You will do it because it must be done. <sighs> okay. Go ahead. At least I've played a card. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh. Land for turn. Yeah, just keep showing off your lands there. Going into combat. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry. Uh, actually, before combat. Um, go ahead and tap sacrifice at a green. Okay. For Gala Greeters. Okay. Ooh, nice. Then I'm going to go ahead and white, green, Darling in the Masses. Jeez. Alliance trigger. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 1 counter on the Gala Greeters. Okay. I'll move into combat. Attack you with a legitimate business person. For one? For one. Bink. Go ahead and go. Actually, it's two because of the Darling of the Masses. Okay. Yes. I drew another island. It's a three color deck, and I have one source. All right. Go ahead. Sorry. Witty Roastmaster. Ooh. Alliance trigger. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 1 counter on this person. Okay. Illuminator Virtuoso. Alliance trigger, Alliance trigger. You're going to take a point of damage. I'm going to create a tapped treasure token. Okay. Which I will use that to represent. Um. Oh, that works. So it comes to play tapped. 
I would like to move into combat. Okay. Declaring attacks. Darling of the Masses. Legitimate business person. Gala Greeters. I also have an attacks trigger on my Darling of the Masses, which will put a 1-1 green citizen creature token into play. Okay. I don't think I have a citizen token. Uh, that will represent the fact that it is a 1-1. One, one. This is roughly green and white. I will pay 3 and flash this into play. Okay. When um, she comes into play, you'll connive. So I draw a card. I hate to do this, but I, then I will discard. Oh, Cut you got loss. one too. Oh, yeah. I was worried about you getting one. Yeah, that is the only mythic in here. So now she gets a one-one counter. So yep. she's a one-four. Yep. And I will block. This is a one-one. Yep. So she will block this. Okay. Well. By witness protection. Oh yeah. I I don't know why I always do that, but okay. and then that still means you're taking three, four, five. And that would take me down to nine. Okay. And should be your turn. Come on. Yes! Jeez Louise! Alright. I will pay one. Play one, I pay. And then I will tell you. Here go. By the way, I think I missed play last turn, which would have been more damage to you, but hindsight is twenty twenty. you know? We're going to start off with uh, casting Sticky Fingers on my Illuminator Virtuoso. Okay. It now has Menace, and when it deals combat damage to a player, I get to create a treasure token, and when it dies, I get to draw a card. Okay. Next up, we're going to hold your snoop for ransom. Okay. Um, at this point, I would like to move into combat. Okay. Um, declaring attacks. We'll have Darling of the Masses, Witty Roastmaster, Gala Greeters, and uh, the Virtuoso. That'll be an attack trigger. I'll get a creature into play. Um, technically, I'll be attacking this guy too, so Front Boy is attacking um, that. Alliance trigger, because a creature into the battlefield, you'll take a point of damage. Alliance trigger, I'm going to go ahead and give a plus one, plus one counter to the Gallagreeners. Okay, so how much damage? Um, so that's going to be four off of this guy, four off of this guy. Uh, technically, this is just two. This is going to be two. And that's going to be two with uh, combat trigger. Uh, first strike damage is going to give me a to treasure, and then second strike or normal damage will give me a, a uh, treasure. So I'll get two treasures off of that. Good game. <laughs> Look, okay, I'll, I'll show you guys too. Had you played another creature, by the way, it was getting held. Oh, you were just playing a bunch of removal. By the way, I pulled four held for ransoms. So I ran all four. I was locking your creatures down all game. Okay, I like this card and hate this card. I figured you'd be running shield counters, so I was like... I didn't get none! I had a feeling you might have pulled any, so I'm like... I'm gonna pull out the cards like Strangle, and I'm gonna just go focus in on like the hold for ransoms. Because it slows you down enough to where, even if then, my aggro is gonna kill you. Okay, the whole... Since you won, I'll tell you. The whole point of this deck is just low mana cost. So is mine. Like, the highest mana cost is this. 
Yeah, I think that's even more than mine. The other highest is three. Because basically, it's meant to be a go wide aggro deck on my end. Mm -hmm. So, like, basically, it's meant to be high impact stuff as we're kind of going through it. We got lands over here. Yeah, another hole for ransom. A take to the streets is a big bomb finisher. These are kind of to fix mana. Because if you notice, these guys you could pay to and then fix your land, make your lands fix your mana for you. That's what they were in there for. And without realizing it, I had a citizen sub theme, so it worked. I did get a charm and uh, bundle stuff that was there. Yeah. So that's kind of the deck I was operating with. So it's a real quick one to five. With my removal spells being super cheap and highly efficient. Yeah, see. Just cheap. Where was your, rem where was your creatures? They're in there a little bit. I see one creature. There's that... Two creature, three creature, four, maybe five, six. Yeah, I see seven creatures total in your deck. This is a bad matchup for you because of that. Okay, maybe eight. But the point is, it's a bad matchup because I'm going to get many more creatures on the board. Oh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> like I said, I was trying to stick with the college. Yeah. And it just. There wasn't much I could do. Yeah, versus this is just... Burr! Burr! And that last match, I should have mulliganed. Yeah. Straight up, I should have mulliganed. I only had two two blues. So where's your mythic? That's not a mythic. That's a rare. Is it? Yeah, it's just a rare. I was worried you would have that, too. That's why I'm like, I'm so glad I have this in my pool, because that means he probably doesn't have it in his. And then you had it in your pool. Yeah. That was one of the ones I pulled out of my pre-release And uh, well. what you get, it, so you guys know at home, it's cut your losses, four colors, two blue, sorcery. Uh, if you had managed to get the casualty, you would have milled 75% of my deck. Oh, casualty two, okay. Um, target player mills half their library rounded down. So the casualty would have, uh, as you cast this though, you... May sacrifice a creature with power 2 or greater. When you do, copy this spell, and you may choose a new target for this copy. Yeah, so basically it mills me half, resolves, then it mills, checks again for the half, and then mills for that. So if you had all the cards in your deck, you would go down to from 40 to 20, and then in to... 2010. Yep. So... If you That's guys why are, I was so terrified you would If you guys are playing some pre-release, that is one of the cards you want if you can get the mana to play it. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Uh, I like the set. I, I think they did a number of good, fun things to help out with the mana fixing. Um, I like... I think Hold for Ransom is a sleeper in the set, by the way. At least in the limited format because of all the shield counters going around. That's exactly why I included it, by the way. is so I could not have to worry about popping through shield counters. It's like, okay, cool. Pay seven mana and let me draw a card. I'll draw another creature and keep the aggro up. It didn't really matter to me whether you had the lands or not. Right. It just it slows you down so dramatically to have to spend an entire turn to untap a creature, basic Or to unlock a creature, basically. Yeah, and that's... That that hurt me a lot. I'm not gonna say it lost me the game, but it it hurt me a lot. It's very punishing when it happens. Uh, I like it. I'm kind of mixed right now about it. I mean, we are just at the pre-release. I want to see a little bit more before I make a final judgment, but. It's always fun just to play cards with my 
with my buddy here, so yeah, I don't care what set it is, we're having fun. Oh yeah. So as always, guys, stay up, stay forever new, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Take care.